It seems that Britain is no longer a Christian country. That's according to a top-level report on the place of religion in the UK. And what's more, if it calls, it calls for Christianity to actually be removed from British public life and for a greater voice to be given to other faiths and to non-religious views. The two-year study, which was headed up by a senior judge, says the UK should now reflect, quote, the pluralist character of modern society. The number of Britons who consider themselves Christian, that's been gradually declining over the years and it's even predicted to continue. In fact, the estimates are that less than half of Britain's population will be Christian by the year 2050. Earlier on, my colleague Kevin Owen discussed this with Mo Ansar, political and social commentator, and Robin Tilbrook from the English Democrats' party. In the figures, the number of Christians is declining in the UK, so isn't it fair to say it's no longer a Christian country? It's a fair point, isn't it? No, I think we've still got quite a large number of uh, people who identify themselves as Christians. Our head of state um, is also the Supreme Governor of the Church of England. So uh, Christianity is very much embedded in our um, way of doing things, our politics, and uh, it's also very much part of our culture. Let me just bring in Mo Anser a minute. Mo, uh, you know, cabinet ministers condemning this report as, as misguided earlier this year. Uh, Prime Minister Cameron firmly stated that the UK is a Christian country. This is a Christian country. Yes, we're a nation that embraces, welcomes and accepts all faiths and none, but we're still a Christian country. Look, the reality is this, that uh, people like um, Robin Tilbrook and the English Democratic Party and I have to say to some degree the Prime Minister are driving their car down the road looking in the rearview mirror. I mean, isn't it bizarre that in 2015 and even uh, going ahead and even going backwards that the head of the uh, monarch, the monarch, the head of the, the country has to be a Christian? I mean, why can't they choose to be a Muslim or a Buddhist or a, or a Hindu or a Sikh? I'm a great interfaith. I'm a great believer in, in a pluralist uh, faith. Now, look, I mean, the, the, the uh, Star oh, Wars baby. film is coming out soon and people on the census that. declare themselves as being Jedi. I wouldn't say I'm, I'm religious, but I have my beliefs. You know, and I have been brought up in a Christian family. Uh, personally, I'm not very religious at all. I'm a practicing Buddhist. The Lord Jesus wants you to come to him, just as you are. He wants you to come to him no matter what you have done in your life, no matter what mistakes you have made. He is kind, understanding and always forgiving. He cares very much about each one of us. Maybe you are unsure if you really have given your heart fully to the Lord Jesus. Maybe you would like to say yes to him for the very first time. Or maybe you would like to recommit your life to the Lord Jesus and start afresh today. The Bible says, Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. The Bible also says, If you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If you'd like to hand your life to the Lord Jesus and put your hope and trust in him, then please repeat this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, please hear my prayer. I know you gave your life for me and I know that you are alive today. Please forgive my sins. Come into my heart and make your home with me. Thank you for being my Lord and Saviour. Amen.